Yo, what's going on everyone? It's around 951. I'm here bringing another um, um, video on some mail I got again. So, uh, I guess we'll start off with the non-Gundam related. So, I have a Wii and uh, I like Resident Evil games. And I've actually had this game before. It's a, it's a kind of like a arcade shooter, sort of similar to House of Dead, where um, um, you aim and shoot, you know, and then the character walks for you. This is Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Um, I like it. It's a very cool game. Uh, they made a sequel to this. <clears throat> or basically they ex um, did did the other one, which is Dark Side Chronicles. Now, in my opinion, I don't feel like this one lived up to to um, the first one. The first one was a lot better because, you know, you, ha you have more characters that are more memorable. I mean, don't get me wrong. Leon S. Kennedy is pretty memorable. But um, I feel like they put a lot more time and effort in this one. And I, don't, I like it a lot more. You even get to play as Albert Wesker. And uh, it's it's a pretty sick game. I really like it. I bought this one brand new for like 18 bucks. Um, probably get a lot cheaper used through eBay or or on GameStop. But when I buy my stuff, especially games, I like to try to get them new unless they're like really hard to get games. You know, that's a different story. But with games like these, you know, you can always get them used. And I, I say I would recommend this game. It's a two player. So um, you could play with another person. You just have to have another Wiimote. Um, it does not um, do anything online. It's just all game, and I I, don't know, I really enjoyed it, so I picked it up again and uh, about play this after this video probably. Okay, so off to that side note, let's get to some Gundam related stuff now. So again, Pikaiao, he had some last minute stuff he put up for auction, and uh, you know he was telling me, hey, if there's anything you want, just let me know and I'll pull it off, and uh, you. Just uh, we could work on a price for buy it now, so uh, that's what I did. And I saw a couple of figures. <clears throat> um, he did have some brand new box ones. My friend Adrian was lucky. No, yeah, Adrian. My bad. My friend Adrian, the guy who I trade with a lot, was lucky enough to get a Tall Geese three for a pretty decent price. He's been hunting one down, so uh, very happy for him. Uh, very cool. So let me just get this tape off this bubble wrap and I can show you what I got. I think there's some pretty cool figures. Um, in my opinion, they're pretty rare as well. So let me just get this tape off real quick and I'll get to show you. Show everyone. <laughs> Alright, so I got the tape off. You can see all my little GM ground types. I need to clean all these, including that Zaku, but. Uh, I'm gonna just probably sanitize them and that's it. Got a big old bag. Just put this to the side. I wanna say thanks to PKL because I had no idea he was doing party mail. He's such a cool guy. I love uh as as a seller on eBay, I really like him. He's really cool. Um always a a good guy to do business with. Uh especially in the Gundam the Gundam trading slash buying world. Very cool guy. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so we have two very cool figures here. We'll go over the one that's not in the plastic right now. So this is the, I believe this is the Rashid uh, Mogwanak Custom. So uh, these, um, from what I've heard, these, these figures are pretty tough to get, honestly. I mean, I know they're even tougher to get 100% complete. But um, to even get these guys, it's like it's pretty damn rare. Um, very cool. These came out during the end of the the Gundam Wing um, run when they started releasing all the version twos. And uh, let me tell you, these guys are very cool. I love the shields. They look awesome. Um, really big and bulky. And uh, very cool. Got this nice kind of beam rifle. It's a little bent, but you know nothing a bit of hot water can't fix. Very nice and bulky as well. And we have the figure itself. I believe this is, uh, I believe this is Abdul, and then Rashid's the one with the spike on his head. Uh, yeah, I want to say this is Abdul. Very cool. They have double joints. You can see one joint up here, and then another joint right here, making them a bit more flexible. But due to some of the plastic getting away, they're still not as flexible as they should be. Nonetheless, very cool figures. They have ball jointed hands, so you got some flexibility in the hands. 
Um, he has like a he has like a, a bulkier, more heavily armored shoulders than uh, the uh, than the Rashid and the Auda or Auda um, custom of the Magwanak. Very cool. Really like it. Um, I believe this is the American release, as far as I could tell. I don't see any panel lining or anything, so there we go. So that's the Abdul. And he, like I said, he came with his beam rifle and he came with the big shield. <clears throat> and the only ones that are supposed to come with the big shield, I think, is this one. Is this one, and that's it. I believe. Not too sure. And this right here. This is a pretty cool one. I think this I think this is probably one of the coolest Magwanox just because of its weapon. So let's see. <laughs> I was checking the shields to see if they're different. So this is the um, Auda or Ada. I'm not sure how you want to call it. Call it Auda uh, Magwanok custom. Um, same thing, just variant. Very cool. Also double uh, double jointed arms. Very nice. You can see that nice articulation there. Ball jointed hands. Um, head doesn't really move that much because how this uh, plastic bumps into this plastic. Double joint to legs, but it's kind of hindered because how this um, back kind of praying mantis skirt armor gets in the way. Nonetheless, this is probably one of the coolest, in my opinion, out of all the Magwanox, simply because it has this huge freaking arm. I mean, this arm says, hey, I mean business, and I'm going I'm to destroy you, basically. Very cool. Um, the hands do not move. The only thing that does move is the, the thumb, which seems to be on a peg. Probably. I'm gonna check real quick. Oh, actually, okay, so <clears throat> the thumb is actually on a ball joint. So that's very cool. So, you know, it kind of kind of moves around a bit, moves around more smoothly than it would be if it was on a peg. Very nice. I Honestly, I think it's one of the coolest um, weapons. Uh, when you get this figure, I believe it's also supposed to come with the axe, but um, this one didn't, so, you know, it's not a big deal, but I mean, I, I'm not really into the Gundam Wing figures, in my opinion. I mean, they're cool, but I, I just really haven't got into them yet. So, um, I think this is a good place to start with the Magwanox. If I could get the damn thing off. Yeah, these, uh, trying to change the, the ball joint for the shield, and they're pretty damn um, big. I mean, luckily, they're pretty thick, so they don't break when you're trying to take them out. I mean, they probably could, but... The, they're pretty thick, so they don't, you don't really have to worry too much about breaking them unless you put too much stress or something. <clears throat> so I'm gonna just pop one of the pop one of the um the shields on, see how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Put I'm gonna put uh what you call it, Abdul's shield as well. Check it out real quick. Yeah, I really wish these guys would have came with at least one of them came with the um <clears throat> well it came with the the hat the axe because I think the axe out of all the accessories that they come with is probably the coolest but I mean they do overall they, they're just pretty cool in general um if I if I had to say I'd probably say the least appealing in my opinion is probably Abdul I mean his his name is awesome I like Abdul it sounds pretty cool but overall I mean he's he's pretty bulky which I like but um, he's probably one of the less appealing. Rashid's a little bit more appealing. You know, he has a little commander's antenna, and uh, <clears throat> he has the axe along with his um his beam rifle. And then, in my opinion, my favorite probably the the outer custom that comes with the axe and the hand. And I think that's it. So pretty cool. The Magwanox definitely very hard to find figures. Don't come up very often, and they could be extremely expensive. I mean outrageously i mean i've seen some of these guys go for 50 dollars, and it's just like what the hell <laughs> um i they're very hard to find brand new in box as well so i mean these figures are pretty sought out sought after over collectors i mean i could see why they look really cool um you know gundam wings pretty popular and uh i guess these guys are pretty memorable in all honesty apparently you know these guys are comparable to like the zakus but like of gundam wing basically but I don't think they're bad guys. I think they're actually supposed to be good guys. So I don't even know. But um, <clears throat> very cool nonetheless. Um, 
uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever get the Rashid custom. I might, but uh, it's really not on my priority list. I just saw these. I was like, oh, I'll just pick them up just because, and uh, I did. So I hope you guys like that little mail video. And uh, later today, I'll be doing an unboxing of uh, the Dengeki, um, Den <laughs> Dengeki Hobby Limited um, Garmazabi Saku 2 version 1 later on today. And uh, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. But until then, peace.